Welcome! Uh, this is a video that I put together on just a random creative eye. I was inspired by a lot of looks I was seeing at Fashion Week. Uh, basically looks by Alex Box, though this is not a uh, representation of her work. But yeah, so uh, enjoy! Okay, so first I'm going in with Max Black Track, and I'm going to put it on with a fluffy brush. This is going to give me kind of that streaky look that I'm going for, and I'm just applying it really haphazardly all in my eye contour, but using outward strokes to give it kind of that uh, windblown look. Think of a, this is terrible, but think of a bug on a windshield. That's kind of the, uh, the skid mark we're looking for, so to speak. So you wanna make sure when you're filling it in that you're not filling it in too much. You do still wanna see the streak marks and the variation in strokes. You're kinda of going for a brush stroked look here. And once you feel that that's symmetrical, yeah. Why not? Okay, so now using one of the colors from the MAC Objects of Affection holiday set, I'm going in with kind of that oil spill color, and then on top of it, I'm going in with MAC's gold pigments. So these are all pigments. Uh, gold is permanent, but the first pigment I used is from the MAC holiday collection. And now I'm actually going in with a NYX pigment on my lid called Pearl. So I'm just mixing and matching various pigments. I bet you NYX or NYX has um, colors that are available that are similar to the MAC ones. Honestly, I love the NYX uh, pigments. They're amazing. And on top of that, what I found out is they're actually um, okayed by PETA. So bonus. So now I'm going in with mascara, not only on my lashes, but I'm actually using it to stamp various places on my lid. You'll notice that um, a lot of this makeup kind of features a stamping motion. I'm patting color on my lid and allowing it to be imperfect. Okay, and now I'm going in with an Urban Decay pencil. Um, I think the color, it's a deepish dark teal. I got it in my Ipsy bag and I'm sorry, but it's in my kit at work, so I don't know the name of it. Um, but these 24 hour pencils are amazing. And I really like the texture, they glide on really smooth. I'm just putting that in my waterline. And I'm also putting that along my lid and pulling up the corners of my eyes to give that kind of cat eye look. And now I'm just using a silvery uh, pencil and putting it all in the inside corner of my eye to open it up just a hair. Now I'm also going in with the MAC pigment and setting the eyeliner pencil, not only in my waterline, but also underneath. Uh, you'll wanna be a little bit careful about that because getting loose pigment in your eye doesn't feel fantastic. I'm a little reckless, so I went for it, but um, know that it can be an irritant. In keeping with the theme, I'm stamping the color on the outside corners of my eye using a large angle brush for MAC that is no longer available and it's breaking my heart that they don't carry it anymore. Obviously, a lot of powder and a lot of junk is going to fall underneath your eyes if you're stamping a bunch of loose pigment on. So we're just cleaning that up right now with a concealer and also stamping a little bit more on. So this is a hair counterproductive. You know, choose the order that works best for you. <laughs> I'm taking a mixture of the gold pigment we used earlier along with the pearl pigment and putting that up under my brow. And now I'm just kind of opening up my eye by using the MAC pigment we first used to blow out the eye shape or make it larger. I'm also bringing up my eyebrow and adding a little bit of contour that way. Honestly, there is no right or wrong way to do this look. I'm just playing around and seeing what kind of shapes I can create and what kind of contours I can make on my face. Now I'm going in with a little bit of the gold pigment and kind of playing around with it and deciding maybe I want a little less, maybe I want a little more, so you can see it's just play. So this is gloss texture from MAC. You can use it on your lips, your face, or your eyes. I'm using it as a lip gloss here, and then I'm gonna put it on my eyelid. When I put it on my eyelid, I'm careful to put it on the upper part of my lid and not all the way down against the lash line. The reason for this is because as it kind of warms up and melts, it sometimes can get inside your eye. You'll also notice that I'm stamping it instead of spreading it around, because that's gonna disturb the eyeshadow underneath. This is definitely a short-term look, not something you could wear all day because it would be a mess. I'm using a little bit of a coral lipstick just to brighten up what's going on on top. And I'm patting away some of the foundation and some of the color. I basically just want my lip tone with a little gloss. And now that I have all my eye makeup on, I'm balancing out the contours just to make sure that I have an even level all over my face. 
that's basically it. It's just a look that I was seeing, kind of a mixed metals look and gloss texture were prevalent at Fashion Week. Also kind of the messy eye makeup thing, the imperfect perfection thing. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. So I'm having fun. And now I'm attempting to give you an extremely close up version of what the makeup looked like, which is also kind of washed out because the lighting is designed for further away. So hopefully that's not terrifying. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and please watch more if you like or subscribe or whatever. Thanks so much. Bye.